The National Broadcasting Company invites you by transcription to join the chase. animal world, there is the hunter and the hunted, hound and fox, hawk and sparrow, cat and mouse. We in the topmost species have also joined the hunt. But who is to judge precisely which of us are hounds or foxes as we enter the chase? So, you're leaving me, Monica. Yes. I won't let you go. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Stephen. I thought we meant something to each other. We did for a while, but it's finished. You mean my supply of money is finished, is that it? Now, listen to me, Stephen. It isn't as if this is unexpected. You're not getting a raw deal. You begged me to marry you, and I did. Oh, that was six months ago. Six months and $20,000 ago. Every dime I had in the world and every cent I could borrow. You married a woman with expensive tastes, and you can't satisfy those tastes any longer. I warned you before we married, Stephen. I told you how it was. Money means everything to me. If I can't live like an heiress, I don't want to live at all. I see. Oh, don't feel sorry for yourself. I was honest with you. More honest than you were with me, darling. How do you mean? Well, you told me you held a vice president's chair in your bank. I... You're only an assistant treasurer. I had to tell you something because you drove me crazy, Monica. I couldn't stand the idea of losing you. Oh, you're so beautiful, oh, stop so stop acting magnificent. like a schoolboy. What can I say? What can I do to keep you, Monica? Mm-hmm. You can get yourself a million dollars. <laughs> Even half a million might help. Now you're laughing at me. Stephen, there's something you fail to realize and I can't get through your head. I've got a $1,000 bill where my heart should be. I want enough money to do anything and everything I care to do. I'm no kitchen-scrubbing housewife, darling. And the man who wants to hold me has to pay for the privilege. Well, I'm on my way. Wait. For what? Will you stay if I make a killing? What kind of a killing? Never mind what kind. I, I think I can get my hands on plenty. Where? Stephen, not the bank. Yes, the bank. You mean you'd steal for me? Yes. Well, now you're talking, darling. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? You knew all along I'd finally stoop to that. You've been prodding me into it for months. And this gesture of leaving was part of it. How much do you think you can take, Stephen? Oh, half a million. Maybe more. And then? Mexico first, and then Europe. But but how can you plan it so that we'd have a chance of getting away? My vacation starts tomorrow night. There won't be an auditing of the books until the 15th. Uh-huh. They won't connect the missing cash and my disappearance until my vacation expires on the 15th when the accountants come. Don't tell me anymore. What do you mean, don't tell you anymore? As far as I'm concerned, I don't know anything about it. Oh, you mean... you don't want to share the risk, is that it, Monica? Exactly. All right. Doesn't matter. You've got me so insane. Nothing seems to matter anymore. Shall I get ready to leave tomorrow? Yes. I'll enter the bank around eight in the in the evening. Wait for me on the corner of Third and Main. I'll pass by with the car at exactly eight forty-five, and we'll leave the city. By car? It's the only way. I'll take ten and twenty-dollar bills. Easier to get rid of. It'll make quite a load, and it'll be handier by car. You can sneak past the Mexican border customs that way, too. You got it all figured out, I see. No. Decker, the night watchman, is ill. I was supposed to engage another man myself, but now I won't be disturbed at my work. Oh, darling. You know, you're more of a man than I ever dreamed you were. Do you love me, Monica? Mm. Madly. For how long? Until we're broke once again? Well, half a million can last a long time, Stephen. And we'll have fun. We'll have glorious fun. Just the two of us. 
Mexico City, London, Paris, Monte Carlo. You'll buy me jewelry and expensive clothes. Oh, you'll give me everything I've ever wanted. Won't you, Stephen? No. Monica. Monica. Right. No, no, seven right. That's it. Now. Stand where you are. No, don't what? Move. What? Don't move or I'll shoot to kill. Oh, is this? Is, is that you, uh, Decker? Why, Mr. Poacher. Yeah, well, I'm I'm glad you showed up. I I was just transferring some currency to vault number four. You mind helping me? Transferring currency, Mr. Poacher? Yes, yes. Well, don't stand there staring at me like a fool. Put that gun away and lend a hand. But uh, no one told me you'd be working here at this time of night, sir. Oh, naturally no one told you. You were supposed to be at home, ill in bed. Well, I called and said I'd be in this afternoon. It's just a cold was all I had. But I, I don't understand about this currency transfer, Mr. Poacher. Well, there's nothing to understand. The time lock's off on vault number two, and I was supposed to make the transfer yesterday, but I didn't get around to it. I thought I'd drop by tonight and... Uh, what are you staring at? That sack. Well, what about it? Uh, Mr. Poacher, sir, I, I'm sorry, but I'll have to put in a security call. A security call? I know you're an officer of this bank, but I wasn't notified, and it's after eight at night. I... All right. Whom do you want to call? Mr. Canfield, the president. He'll thank you for disturbing him at this hour, I'm sure. Well, go ahead. The phone's right behind you. You meddling idiot! Stop, you joke! Get in. Everything all right? Get in. Hey, wait, my suitcase. Hand me the trunk key. The trunk key? You'd have more room if I put my suitcase... Get in and be quiet. What happened? Stephen, what happened? Did something go wrong? Have you got the money? I've got the money. Where? In the car trunk. Oh, so that's why you... How much, Stephen? Enough. How much? Over a million. Stephen, darling. I had to take it in hundreds and thousands. I didn't have time to grab small denominations. No? No. I thought it was going to be fairly simple, Stephen. For heaven's sake, tell me what's wrong. Your face is running perspiration. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. I... I killed the night watchman, Monica. You... I had to do it. He walked in unexpectedly. He was going to phone the president. It had to be done, I tell you. I... Find him. Body... In the morning. No. No, they won't find his body. They won't? I thought of that, too. It would have finished us. They won't find a trace of him. As a matter of fact, why, if, if, if they discover the money is missing, they may blame the theft on Decker. Yeah. It's not bad, huh? I never thought of that before. Sure, they'll, they'll look for Decker. Why won't they find him? Because Decker, or what's left of Decker... He's riding with us in the trunk of the car. You shouldn't have killed him, Stephen. Oh, you shouldn't chatter. have killed him. What's happened to your nerve? When you were leaving me tonight, you were a walking cake of ice. You took the robbery in your stride. Robbery isn't murder. No. No, it isn't, is it? How can you laugh? How can, how can you... I laugh? I'll tell you how. There'll be no more farewell scenes between you and me, Monica. 
we're in this together now. You'll stick by me no matter what happens. No. No, I didn't plan this thing. You can't drag me into it. Can't I? Just try to leave me and see. When are you getting rid of him, Stephen? Are you referring to our traveling companion, Monica? Can't we leave him somewhere in the woods along the road? And have him found within 24 hours? Well, then what are we going to do? We'll merely relax and enjoy the trip. With that corpse in the car. Get that out of your mind, do you hear me? Forget about the body. We've also got a million, Monica. We'll dispose of Decker when the time is ripe. Well, the gas gauge is low. Better take on some more fuel at the next station. What are you doing? Turning on the radio. A bit of music would be refreshing. Here's a gas station. Let me do the talking. See we in a minute, mister. No hurry. I do not know what. Oh, I must have left it in my other suit. How much money do you have? Ten dollars. No more? That's all. I'm going to cash one of the stolen bills as soon as we get a chance. Meanwhile, let's have that ten. Fill her up, mister? Yes, with special. How far to Santa Fe? Oh, 27 miles, straight ahead. Hey, uh... What's the matter? Your left rear tire here needs air, mister. Does it? Yeah, it looks like it might be a slow leak. Well, pump some air into it, will you? Yeah, okay. Slow leak. That's all we need right now. We interrupt this program to make a special announcement. The state police request all drivers and roadside stands to be on the lookout for a green convertible. License number JX241. Last seen driving that, that, along the highway. Monica. What? If anyone has any information regarding this car, please communicate immediately with your nearest police barracks. We now continue with our regular. They know. They're looking for us. Shut up. I'm sorry, mister, but that rear tire won't hold air for too long. It's a slow leak, all right? Oh, never mind. I could change tires for you in ten minutes. Just give me the key to the car trunk. I'll get you spare, huh? I said never mind. What? Whatever you say, boss. Uh, did you fill me up with gas? Yeah, that's 485 even. Steven. Here, keep the change. What? Well, this is ten bucks, mister. What? This is a patrol car. I know, but I'm sure he didn't spot it. Steven, hurry. Is he behind us? No. No, I don't see anything, but hurry. I told you he didn't spot us. Now take it easy. It's all right. What was that? Oh, my soft tire. I've got to change it soon. Stephen. Well, here's a side road. Let's see if I can find a secluded place. Oh, be careful. Are you telling me how to drive? Eh, here's a likely spot. Now keep your eyes open behind us. No one back there? No. Come on, get out. Get out? Snap out of it. You look like you're going to keel over. You've got to keep an eye on the road while I change the tire. And here, take this flashlight and hold it on the trunk lock while I open it. You're going to open the trunk? Naturally. My tools and my spare tire are in there. Hold that light steady now. Look at it. It's strange. The body's changed position. What? He must have rolled over while we were driving. He's lying across the money. Stephen, now. let's... Let's leave the car and get out of here. Let's... Are you insane? Do you want to set yourself up for the chair? Now get hold of yourself. I'm going to change that tire. Hurry, Stephen. I, I can't fit this tire back into the trunk. Well, can I help you? Yes, by keeping your mouth shut. Wait. Wait, I think I've got it. Yes. Stephen. What? I hear something. Someone's coming. Shut that trunk door. Just a second, folks. Huh? Having a little trouble? I, uh, I was just changing a tire. Changing a tire, huh? Yes. Let's see your license. My... License? You heard me. Who are you? Special Highway Patrol, plain clothes, Skinner's the name. A policeman. That scare you, lady? Here's I mean... my license. Yeah. The tire all changed? Yes. Okay, I'll get in the back. You, uh, you want a lift, officer? Right to the police barracks. It's four miles up the road. Afraid I'll have to pull you in. Stephen. But, uh, what's the charge, officer? You're on private property. 
That's a misdemeanor in this county. Let's go, mister. Keep driving till I tell you to stop. Uh, look here, officer. Uh, can we talk this over? There's nothing to talk about. Well, it's, it's such a minor charge. I mean, we're on our way south, you see. My wife and I, we've, uh, we've just been married. Congratulations. You, uh, well, you might give us a wedding present. <laughs> you know, something to... You got a radio on this car, mister? Oh, yes, I have. Turn it on. Well, down the road told me there was a special bulletin being sent out. Oh, well, I'm sorry. My radio's broken. Is it? Let's see. Got fixed mighty fast, didn't it? Keep to the left. Barracks are just up the road. Well, now, now, can't we manage to smooth this over in some way, officer? If, if, if it's a fine I have to pay, well, can't I pay it to you and let it go at that? Well, now, seeing as you're on your honeymoon... Oh, thank you, officer. Stop the car. You can pay me the fine and go on your way. Right. How much, officer? Fifty bucks should do it. Fifty? Oh, well, yes, yes. I... Oh. What's the matter? Lose your wallet? I must have. Monica, are you sure that tin was all you had? Yes, Stephen. Say, what is this, a stall? No, no, I, I must have misplaced my wallet some We interrupt this program once again for... Take your hand away from that radio, dial lady. Turn it up. Please be on the lookout for a green convertible. License number JX241. It is believed this car is being used by the bandits who robbed the Baldwin County Bank of over $1 million in cash early this evening. We now return you to our... This car's a green convertible, ain't it, mister? Well, yes, it is, but... Uh... Let's get out and take a look at your license plate. JX-241. Now, ain't that a coincidence? All right, you win. Take over. Where's the money? Inside the trunk? Yes. And you really got a million? Yes. What a break. Here I thought I'd only clip you for a quick shake and I run into a gold mine. A quick shake? We'll split the dough two ways, mister. Wait a minute. You're not a cop. <laughs> You're only impersonating an officer. You tried to blackmail me before. Hurt your feelings, mister? Where's the trunk key? Oh, in the ignition lock. Got it. Now, look. Don't step back into the car and try to drive away, see? I got a rod in my pocket, and I'll clip you before you even get your hand on the wheel. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you the key. Uh, let me have the ignition key, Monica. Leave the switch on, and when I yell, put the car into reverse, fast. Make it snappy. Yeah. Here you are. Holy smoke. You got a stuff in there. You'll find the money underneath him. Look at that molar. Look at all that cash, oh, brother. It's in hundreds and thousands. Help yourself. Hey, where you going? Don't move your head. Don't butt your... No, up. Monica! Ah! You sure he was dead, Stephen? Positive. He ran right over his body. Now we have two to account for. What difference does it make? They can only hang you once. What are we going to do, Stephen? We're driving to the nearest airport. We'll step the money into your suitcase and take a plane south. We're not licked yet, my darling. <laughs> uh, we've still got a million dollars, enough to live like rajahs once we but clear the state. But suppose they're watching the airport. They still haven't mentioned our names yet, only the car. Maybe they're not sure. Maybe I wasn't recognized. Put that radio back on, Monica. Hey, Monica, look. Those lights up ahead. Must be Santa Fe. We'll grab a plane there for Mexico City. We won't need a passport. We'll just, just... We interrupt once again to repeat an important announcement. State police request all drivers and roadside stands to be on the lookout for a green convertible. License number JX241. This car is believed to be driven by the bandits who held up the Baldwin County Bank early this evening, escaping with over $1 million in currency. We haven't said anything about the watchman. The uh, stolen bills were in hundred and thousand dollar denominations. All gasoline stations, roadside restaurants, and hotels, please stand by for serial numbers of these the, the, bills. The serial numbers. If an attempt is made to pass bills bearing the following serial numbers, communicate immediately with your nearest police precinct or barracks. 
Numbers 17743. Does that mean... We can't use the money? <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> a million in the trunk and we're broke. We can't use a dollar. Stephen, they haven't taken hold of yourself. <laughs> what do we do now? We drive. Where? Anywhere. What difference does it make? Santa Fe isn't far from the border. If we can get to El Paso... Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes there's still a chance. We'll drive due south through the desert country. Yeah. Here. Here, here, here. Take this gun. Put it inside the club department. Where did you get it? I got the watchman. Hold on to it. I intend to use it as a last resort if I must. <laughs> Stephen, wake up. Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm getting tired. You'd better take the wheel. Oh, how long have I slept? Three hours. Hey, shut up. Where are we? In the desert. We're 70 miles from El Paso. I just saw a sign. Yeah, you're certainly in a hurry to make me take over. Well, you could have let me rub the sleep out of my eyes. You didn't stop so fast. But I didn't stop the car, Stephen. What? It, it, it stopped by itself. Let me see that gas gauge. It's empty. But it can't be. We had ha over half a tank left before I fell asleep. Now, let me out of here. Well, Stephen? There's a leak in the tank. We have to crack the casing in one of the lines. What do we do? Get your suitcase. Empty it out and bring it here. We'll stuff it with bills and walk. Walk? Walk where? We'll cut away from the road and keep heading south. If we stay under cover, we can reach the border in two or three days. Get a move on, Monica. We've got to get away from here in a hurry. Stephen, wait for me. You're going too fast. We haven't got all day. Oh, hey, Stephen. Son. Get your mind on something else. You haven't eaten in 24 hours. Don't you think I know it? I'm empty myself. Just as empty and as dry as you are. But we've still got the suitcase. There's a black market in Mexico. We can do business there. Keep walking. Get up, Monica. What? It's almost dawn. Get up. We gotta keep moving. I'm so hungry. Glass of water. Even if only I Get up and start of... walking now. See? See? Now what? I can't move another step unless I get something to drink. Something to eat. My legs are... Feel like rubber, Stephen. One more day. Yeah. We can hang on for one more day. Stephen, look. Huh? What? The roadside oh, stand. We can get food there. A drink. We must have doubled back on ourselves. It stands on the please, highway. Stephen, please. And have them put in a oh. police alarm. They'd grab us just as soon as we but showed our so faces. so far out of the way small stand like that, and you said they may not have identified us yet. They'll identify the money, though. You can count on that. Money? The million we've got in this bag. Or had you forgotten about it? Oh, give it all for something to eat. Would you hang for a hamburger, too? Don't you realize this money is useless to us while the heat's on? A million dollars. A million dollars. And we can't buy a sandwich. Monica. Car stopped up there in the road. Car? I think they've spotted us. Run for it, Monica, run. Stephen? Yeah? What's the matter? I... I can't make it, Stephen. 
I just... Oh. Oh. So you're finished. You put me up to this. You drove me to it, and now you're finished. Don't beat me, Stephen. Could have been different. The craze for money hadn't burned holes in your heart. Could have been a lot different, Monica. But no, you wanted me to buy you the world. Beautiful clothes, jewelry, your rotten mind couldn't think of anything else. All right. All right, you... You wanted money? Well, here it is. A million in cash. Here's the clothes and your diamonds and your fancy habits. Take it. Take it and see if you can eat it. Monica. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All right, forget it. I'm not going to leave you. Get up. Get up, Monica. 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 No. No, no, you can't pass out on me now. I, I can't carry you, Monica. I can't even carry myself along. Monica, get up. Get up! Water, water. Water and food. Easy does it, now, mister. Food, I've got... I've got to have some food and some water. Here, now, give me that suitcase. No. Let me have it. No. All right. Lean on my arm. To the couch over there. My wife. She's... She's dead. Five miles. A desert dead. My wife. Hey. Now, have a look at that suitcase. Yeah, connect me with Chief Hanley, Sheriff Scott Call in Mountain View. Chief Hanley, that couple they've been looking for, I got one of them. Yeah? Yeah, wandered right into my house without knowing who it was. Well, he's dead. Yeah, he keeled, keeled over right here on the floor. His wife's lying out on the desert. Yeah, yeah, I got the money. I couldn't say offhand, but it looks like it's all there. One million smackers. Funny. A million in his hand, Chief, and you may think I'm crazy, but... In my opinion, he looks as if he starved to death. The Chase was created and written for the National Broadcasting Company by Lawrence Cleave. In tonight's cast were Leon Janney, Kathleen Cordell, Santos Ortega, Scott Tennyson, and James McCallion. This program will be heard over many of these same stations at a new time beginning Thursday, July 10th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Check your local newspaper for the time in your vicinity. Don't forget, on July 10th, follow the trail of a mysterious letter and a man whose life hangs in the balance on The Chase. The Chase was directed and transcribed by Dan Sutter. This is Fred Collins speaking. <laughs>